Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're... Zach, wash the car! We're, uh, we're doing a deep cleaning on the 2014 Nissan Quest. Stay tuned, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Sellers Flipping Cars. Hey, we're doing a deep cleaning on the 2014 Nissan Quest today, and it is going to be great. Now, my wife wants me to concentrate on the inside, not only due to us having six kids, but also due to her being married to a mechanic and me making the driver's seat dirty. So we're going to be cleaning that today. So I want to show you some of the weapons we have in our arsenal today to get this done. Okay, so on the interior, we're going to be using some super clean guys, which is a degreaser. A lot of people use this degreaser uh, for engines, uh, but it's a tough task cleaner degreaser. You can see it right there, guys. Look at that. It's even biodegradable. Okay, so we're going to take this. We're going to wipe down the uh, leather uh and <laughs> it is leather leather interior uh that's gonna wipe all the grease off all the the gunk that's actually built up did you know when your steering wheel actually becomes real smooth and all that that's not because you wore down the leather or anything most of that's actually dirt and oil from your hands so if you're using a lot of hand sanitizer and all that you might want to clean your steering wheel off because you're probably doing nothing to staying safe because there's a lot of bacteria on that steering wheel guys just saying okay so go ahead and clean that off with the degreaser and then we'll be using a nice protectant from armor all uh there's a lot of protectants out there guys um but armor all man i've been using armor all since i was 14 and yes i bought my first car when i was 14 and uh it was in my first car show when i was 16 got third place for the uh, 89 Honda CRX SI I had. It was pretty dope, guys. All right, so I'm going to use this Armor All Protectant. I love it. We're going to use that, and I'm going to finish it off with some nice heavy-duty Febreze. Why? Well, I said, we have six kids, and they sometimes stink. All right, so we're going to be using some Febreze, getting that all done, and then on the outside, it's going to be really nice. Okay, we're doing a nice ceramic wash and coat, guys. This stuff is beautiful by Mothers, okay? Shine like a pro and it will. I'm telling you, look at it now, look at it when I'm done, okay? And then of course, I'll be shamming. Uh, if you guys don't have a chamois cloth, really awesome when you're washing your car. And also we have the shop vacuum out here to go ahead and vacuum out the interior so we can wipe it down really nice. So let me go ahead and give you a before shot. That way you have something to compare it to at the end and you can get your vehicle on the same level. By the way, guys, one second before I actually show you that before shot. Remember, when taking care of your car, even though you see it as a car wash, this is the most opportune time to check your maintenance intervals, check your fluids, check any wear and tear to your engine, your tires. This is a great time to go over your vehicle because you're actually taking time out of your day to wash your car. A lot of people that will take your car to the car wash, okay, you're missing a lot of that that uh let's say one-on-one -on -one time with your car okay this is the time to catch those small problems before they become large problems okay so take that into consideration let's get this before all right guys so here we are on the 2014 nissan quest i know it doesn't look that dirty you guys but it is dirty and i don't like it why doesn't like it? And Xavier is going to help me with cleaning the car today, aren't you, bud? Yeah. All right. All right. So you got a little bit of mud, you know, down here and all that. And of course, it's a little dirty in the back. Let's go through that. Yeah. See, normal back window for most vehicles. Okay. But what my wife really wants to focus on is the interior getting that all cleaned up of course Xavier's car seat nice and dirty 
we see inside, you see the windows. They're a little, a little dirty. We'll go through those. A little bit of the headliner. Okay. And cover that as well. And then the notorious back armrests for minivans. The thing that is never, ever wiped down. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and cover all that. Also, see what's really nice is this stuff. The ice cream and all that. See it right there? Okay. Xavian loves that cup holder. Okay. Loves that cup holder for milkshakes. And yes, guys, if you don't take your two, oh, now he's three, three-year-old to go get ice cream, what kind of parent are you? Ah, terrible. You should always take your kid for ice cream. I remember uh, as a kid, I used to get ice cream after a baseball game. Of course, baseball is not that popular anymore. But, you know, because it's, it's actually pretty boring. Um, but, okay, so we got a lot of the uh, styrofoam. We got this nice oil back here I put there that uh, my wife told me to put something down on the carpet, and I didn't. So now I get to scrub that off. Um, just pick up the rest of the interior. See, we always have our masks. All right. So we're going to go ahead and jump right onto that. As I said, Xavian's helping me. So we're going to jump right into it, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, this is what we're looking at so far on the exterior. I went ahead and scrubbed everything down. I'm taking the chamois cloth to it now to get all these water beads off. I do not want any water spots left on. And of course, I left, I lost my cloud coverage. Xavier, of course, is being a little counterproductive, splashing mud, but we're getting it done. No problems there. Did you guys know that actually washing your vehicle when there's cloud coverage is actually the most opportune time to wash your vehicle? That way these uh, water spots aren't just uh, drying on your, uh, your paint as soon as you're uh, trying to get a clean vehicle. Unlike Xavian right there. He is not clean. He is going to jump in the bath right after this but here we go let's go ahead and knock out uh drying it and then we got to jump back on the inside and clean All right, guys, we got the van finally washed on the exterior, but now it's time to get to the real problem we came outside, and that was the interior. So, with Xavier helping me out, and I had to wash the outside of the van twice now, let's see how many times I actually have to clean up the inside of the van. Let's get into it. <clears throat> um, 
No, no. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta talk to everyone. Huh? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, now, if you've never cleaned a car before and have done a deep clean, the first thing you want to do is take all your dirt away. Okay, so vacuum all of it up, start ruffling it up with a brush or something, get that dirt out of the carpet. Next thing you're going to do, if you're using the upholstery shampoo, that's when you're actually going to add in that upholstery shampoo or upholstery uh, cleaner. Okay, you can also use Simple Green. Simple Green is an amazing cleaner. Uh, use it with a brush, you will see that your carpet will look good as new after. So as me and Xavian uh, vacuum all this dirt up, uh, we'll go ahead and take care of that and then we'll go ahead and add in this uh, upholstery cleaner. So stay tuned guys. All right, guys, right here on the door panel over on the passenger side, I want to point out two specific areas, there and there. Of course, you rest your arm on the armrest. That means there's going to be a lot of dirt around that area. Now, I already cleaned off this area up top, but as you see here, here and here, there is a dirt and oil build up right there. So you take your super clean, uh, super clean, your degreaser, okay? You just go ahead and spray it on there, yeah. You know, you could also spray it on the rag, but if you spray it right on there, there you go. You see that? Rubbed right off. Remember, all your, your, you know, oil and dirt and all that, it's just grease buildup. So this super clean is for degreaser and a tough task cleaner remember you got you got to work smarter and not harder guys instead of rubbing so hard on that you just put that on there of course i sound like the sham wow guy right like boom wow you just put it on there wipe it off it's amazing right now nah. so that'll take all the oil and dirt out i'll show you on the driver's side it looks a lot worse over there all right guys, here it is on the driver's side door. As you see, a dirt accumulation right there on the door, on the armrest, all right there, okay? I'm telling you this out of experience of uh, being a mechanic, okay? So again, that stuff off of your vehicle is going to be really easy with the uh, degreaser, okay? Same thing when it comes to the center console and the dash. You can uh, put the degreaser on that. It's gonna take all the grease, all the oils off, and then use your protectant, okay? Finish it off by wiping it down with a microfiber and your wood grain dash is gonna look amazing. The, the top of the dash is gonna be protected from all those ultraviolet rays, which that is what destroys and cracks dashes, okay? Ultraviolet rays, the heat, the cold, all that. But um, if you protect it with a nice protectant, it'll keep this dash moisturized so it does not dry and crack, okay? Well guys, I have to get to some serious vacuuming and uh, wipe down the entire interior because uh, that's what my wife really wanted me to focus on. Not really the exterior, but hey, who doesn't want a good looking vehicle driving down the road? So let me go ahead and jump into that. I'll show you guys the finished product when I am done, so stay. All right, there we have it, guys. Look at that exterior. That is a nice, beautiful ceramic coating on that. So you can definitely tell the uh, show quality uh, right there, just in the appearance. The inside looking a lot better. You see it's all vacuumed out. We went ahead and used that degreaser on the doors plus protectant. And we used Febreze on the inside because, you know, want a nice smelling vehicle. Uh, now, as you see, that's not going to pass inspection right there, so I'm going to have to scrub the upholstery a little bit longer and get that stain out of the carpet. But we got the rest all wiped down. 
looking really good all right i think that's gonna pass the wife's inspection i'm hoping i'm hoping we got the side right here got it all wiped down remember degreaser for the hard task uh, as you see i gotta touch up that little piece there on the bottom but degreaser for the hard task of getting all the dirt and grime off of there. Now I did use protectant uh, as well as the degreaser on the dash. As you see, it's nice and shiny, beautiful, clean looking, and that's the way we want it. Now, right here on the driver's side seat, I want you to see this part, okay? This is where I scrubbed with the degreaser, okay? You see it's nice and clean and beautiful and just soft to the touch, okay? This, on the other hand, is a little bit rougher, okay? And as you see, all the grime and oil and grease is built up in there. So that's what you wanna get off of there and I'm going to continue scrubbing on that to get it looking like this other side, just beautiful. But there you go, guys, a nice deep cleaning of the 2014 Nissan Quest. Right, guys, there we have it, the 2014 Nissan Quest deep cleaning, exterior and interior. As you know, when you have children, you always have to clean up the vehicle, whether it be a road trip or you're just going and picking them up from school. So don't be too hard on the little guys. Remember, these are the days that you're gonna miss later in life when they're all grown up and not fun anymore and they don't like hanging around you. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you do not have a shop vacuum in your garage yet, I'm gonna leave the link in the video description down below. That way you guys can pick up one too and get your vehicle running tip top again. So thank you so much again, guys. This is Zachary of Sell Those Flipping Cars. And until next time, hey, keep on wrenching. Take care, guys.